On behalf of TVI and myself, Puttanda Valtakal. Welcome to Crossroads. I'm your host, Parthi Kandavo. In light of the United Nations' recent focus on Sri Lanka, we have spent the last few weeks examining some of the relevant issues concerning what's happening with Sri Lanka and us in the diaspora. We looked at the significance of the Channel 4 documentary, Sri Lanka's Killing Fields, War Crimes Unpunished, the dynamics of the UN resolution against Sri Lanka, and our last show featured, discussion, featured a discussion on reconciliation with R.K. Guruparan, a lecturer in the law faculty at the University of Jaffna, and Prashan Divizar, the founder and president of the organization Sri Lanka Unites. After the show, we received both positive and negative feedback. If you haven't had a chance to view that episode, you can find it online on YouTube. Simply search for reconciliation in Sri Lanka. Some people in the community felt that we shouldn't have had the organization on our show and that we shouldn't have given them a voice on a Tamil forum or media. On the other hand, some felt it was a progressive move to initiate dialogue or engagement with a group like theirs. Regardless of whether you believe in a separate state solution, federal solution, or within a unitary Sri Lanka, or whether you agree with that organization or not, one thing is clear, open discussion and dialogue is necessary. The point of the show was to illustrate that the situation in Sri Lanka is comp complex and layered. Thus, as a community, we need to carefully examine all participants. On today's show, we have two of these participants, Pun Balarajan, a member of the transnational government of Tamilulam, and David Pupalapulle, the national spokesperson of the Canadian Tamil Congress. We extended an invitation to the National Council of Canadian Tamils, however, they are unable to participate today. Dear viewers, please feel free to join our conversation at 416-623-8100. Thank you, gentlemen, for making time for coming on our show. Good to be with you. Partner. Good to have you. you. Good to see you. Thank you, Padre. Thank you. Um, so I thought we would uh, start our discussion on perhaps uh, what initiated and what motivated your participation in, in the, our community's political activism. So I was going to ask, what were the first, what were your first memories of, of tensions between our community and the Sri Lankan state when you were growing up or in your young adulthood? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, it's all started for me when I was in high school back in 70s. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, during that period that uh, negotiations started falling down between the Tamil leaders and the, and the Sinhala leaders. And arm struggle just started coming up. Uh, I can vividly remember back in 1970s, later part of 70s, uh, under J. R. Jayavadana, they brought a new constitution, a Republican constitution, uh, and it was brought in uh, in the September month of September. 72. And the Tamil politicians announced that day to be observed as a Black Day mm -hmm. in the Tamil areas. Two young leaders at the time, uh, Kasi Anandan and Mavasi Nadiraja, one of them is an MP now, uh, they came and we organized meeting as youths from Batiklo. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the meeting, the 400 youths attended the meeting. Uh, halfway through the meeting, it's a very democratically organized meeting. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, there was a heavy, we felt heavy presence of the police mm -hmm. when the meeting was going on. Uh -huh. So the, when the meeting ended around 9, 9.30, uh, we walked with uh, Kasi, uh, Mr. Kasi Anandan and Mavasi Nadraja to, uh, to their residence and uh, I mean, passing the police station. We dropped them and came back. Next day, uh, there was a bus stand uh, in, in Batiklo and from the bus stand, Kasi Anandan, Mavasi Nadraja and others stood there and issuing uh, uh, leaflets and uh -huh. asking people to boycott the Republic Day celebrations. Right. So after one hour of uh, this uh, exercise, uh -huh. they were taken to police station. They were uh, detained at the police station. We mm -hmm. were watching this as youth. We were watching this. We got really irritated. But this is a simple democratic exercise. I mean, mm -hmm. they are issuing uh, leaflets and asking people to observe or asking people to do something. Mm -hmm. So we organized a, a youth group. We went from shop to shop and asked the shopkeepers to close the shops and and uh, protest this uh, police action. Mm -hmm. uh, shopkeepers, uh, they were very cooperative. They started uh, closing their shops. Mm -hmm. So halfway through the exercise, when I was, I was leading the pack here, mm -hmm. uh, I was in front of the shop and all of a sudden I felt somebody was holding my arm. Mm -hmm. I turned around and saw there was a police 
constable standing and asking me to come to the police station. Mm -hmm. I said, why? Why, why should I come with you? Mm -hmm. No, 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 we have a, an issue with you. I mean, okay, I didn't do anything wrong. I walked with him. Mm -hmm. That was the last day I saw her son for next one year. I was detained, detained along with Mahasena Raja, Kasi and along with eight others, taken to the courts, and they filed a case against conspiracy against the government. From there, they took us to prison, Batikro prison. They said Batikro prison is not uh, security enough to hold us. They transferred us to Bogambara. So mm -hmm. one year, we were detained. After mm -hmm. that... No we trial, no... No, no, they released no. us. They, they mm -hmm. had a trial. The trial also, they could have simply had the trial in Batikro because we are all from Batikro except Mr. Sena uh -huh. uh, He's the only one from Batikro from the PAC. Uh -huh. So they transferred this trial to... High Courts in Colombo. Uh -huh. And uh, Mr. Sivasa Dambaram appeared yeah. for us, uh, yeah. the TULF former leader, leader yeah. very fine lawyer, mm. along with Amadha Lingam and others. Yeah. And the case was thrown out of the uh, courts Correct. and we were released. After that one was year. my first experience. Uh -huh. Soon afterwards, uh, that was in 1978-79 period, uh -huh. I came back, uh, followed my education, got a job. Uh, I have been living in Batiklo ever yeah. since, right? So in, back in 83, as you all know, there was a community big disturbance. I mean, the, the pogrom, anti-Tamil pogrom, started in Colombo, spread, uh, spread across the country, mm. except Batiklo and Jaffna areas. Mm. You know, all the refugees started coming to Batiklo and Jaffna, right? Tamils. Mm. Uh -huh. We, from that country, from that island of the nation, but we became refugees on our own soil. Mm. So we started receiving these refugees and gave them shelters and things like that. Uh, we were doing something. Mm. There was some minor disturbance around this time, around my town, hometown, mm. Batiklo. Mm. So back in September, I can again remember, uh, I was at work. Uh, when I came back from work, uh, my mother came to me and said, police came looking for you. I said, Amma, I didn't do anything wrong. Why mm. did they come? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. They wanted to question you, they said. Mm -hmm. I said, why? I have not done anything wrong. I mean, mm -hmm. nothing, nothing whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So I went to the GA, government age of the region, uh -huh. the head of the government. Yeah. I happened to be a close friend of our family. Right. I went to him as other Tamils addressed the older people. Yeah. I had this uncle, mm -hmm. he was a GA, particular GA. Mm -hmm. I hear that, you know, police came looking for me. Can you find out why, do, why mm -hmm. they are looking for me? Then he picked up the phone, called the senior most official of the district mm -hmm. and spoke to him and said, David is with me and he says that uh, you were looking for him. Yeah. He says, we want to have a few questions. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we want to have a few questions with him, that's it. Then he gave his own driver, the government agent, and asked him to drop me at the police station. So I was driven by the government agent driver to the police station. I walked into the police station. Mm -hmm. I regret the decision up to date mm -hmm. and went to the, the senior most officer and went and uh, greeted him uh, and asked him, I'm so and so and uh, I'm here that I, I heard that you were, you were looking for me. Mm -hmm. And he said, okay, sit down. And the very first question he asked me, did you bring your night clothes? I was shocked to hear that. Mm -hmm. I realized something wrong. Again, Pati, that was the second time I saw the sun again. For the next two years, you I was in. kept in detention, kept in police station, tortured, went through a lot of hell in mm -hmm. my life. And thanks to Amnesty International, Thanks to international uh, human rights activists, yeah. thanks to uh, Ceylon Methodist Church, uh, British Methodist Church, I was released after their uh, huge what, advocacy. What year was this? It was 85, 85. later part of 85. And upon uh, Mr. Mr. Balarajan, how was your experience in Sri Lanka? Actually, my experience, um, mm -hmm. it is not like uh, David's. Um, uh -huh. um, I was uh, uh, part of uh, the Communist Party. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we have the Chinese uh, version of the Communist Party. Uh, Sanmodasan was the leader, the secretary of the party. Uh -huh. And I'm from Nelly Eddy. Uh, it uh -huh. is, uh, you know, the first uh, communist parliamentarian, uh, Tamil parliamentarian elected from Udupati. Udupati, yeah. uh -huh. uh, his name is uh, Kandaya, Pon Kand Kandaya, oh, yeah. uh, elected. So we c came from a uh, communist ideology. Right. But the first, um, the, when we started thinking uh, Tamil uh, nationalism uh -huh. and we need to have a uh, uh, sovereignty for the Tamil nation, nation. because uh, when 1972, mm. um, uh, Mrs. Bandaranaika, that mm. time, 
uh, they have uh, introduced the new constitution. Mm -hmm. That's Mr. Uh, th that is a new constitution, 1972 constitution. In the mm -hmm. constitution, they have removed uh, the minority protection for the minorities. That is uh, from 1946 constitution, from mm -hmm. the Solberry uh, constitution, it was there. Yeah. So that was uh, discussed in the, in the party environment. Uh, the party was explaining what is this constitution is. Yeah. The, some of the youth, in, in that time, uh, you can remember the Sivakumaran time. Mm -hmm. Sivakumaran, that time I, I was um, A-level a student, yeah. uh, Sivakumaran time, so, uh, 1972 constitution happening. And, um, you know, uh, World Tamil co Conference massacre happened. It happened, yeah. So all these things, you know, it is, it is a ma main uh, Sivakumaran's death, yeah. uh, constitution like that. Yeah. And... Um, 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 this uh, Tamil conference, all those things, yeah. it start coming into an argument. You mm -hmm. know, you have to, because if you start thinking about uh, our people, our mm -hmm. land, our uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, we were thinking the communist party of uh, the, um, the Peter Kenneman mm -hmm. uh, or the left-leaning NM Perera, yeah. they are the architect tech of the constitution. Sure. LLS, LSSP. LLS, LLS because yeah. Peter Kenneman. Yeah. And, but they have created a constitution yeah. uh, which was denying the right of the minority, especially mm -hmm. Tamil minorities. Yeah. Then, uh, we, uh, in the in the in the books, uh, mm -hmm. you can see uh, Lenin's uh, 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 oh Mao's long march or mm -hmm. Lenin's theory. Mm -hmm. The, uh, the um, uh, who is a nation? Mm -hmm. What is the what are the definition for a nation? Mm -hmm. So then, in the book says the, the Lenin's uh, theory says, you need to have a, a defined border. Mm -hmm. You need to have a distinct culture. Yeah. You need to have economic resources. Okay. And there are conditions, whatever it is there, mm -hmm. uh, it is, uh, we have, the Tamil nation has, because uh, uh, before the colonized the um, whole island of Sri Lanka, uh -huh. uh, there was a two nation. Everybody knew about it. We mm -hmm. know uh, Pandaravanian clearly. It is mm -hmm. not somebody's uh, fake story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it was there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we know Changli and Tobu. Every yeah. time when you go, go to Jaffna from, uh, mm -hmm. from uh, Neliadi to Jaffna, you mm -hmm. see the Changli and Tobu all the time. Yeah. So when you look at it, the denial and colonization, then you uh, start understanding the single only rule happening mm -hmm. because it, it's already happened in the 1958, right. but uh, I'm in 1972. Mm -hmm. You can see some of the mamas are at home early age yeah. because they couldn't pass the single exam. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, then he's a very capable, very productive people. And why they are? Because why mm -hmm. they need to study Sinhalese language mm -hmm. if they are, the person is working on a mandhya. So were these factors what led to the formation of the TULF? And uh, actually, exactly. Yeah, uh -huh. This is this, uh, this, not, not me, and yeah. I am, I'm, I'm not part of the TULF. But uh -huh. what happened was uh -huh. that is created uh, Tamil Langer Peraway. You might okay. have heard about yeah. Tamil, uh, David might know the yeah. Tamil Langer yeah. Peraway. Yeah. Yeah. I think actually Kasi Anandan, uh -huh. uh, Vanne Anandan, Mave Senadraja, yeah. all these people, they were, they were in the prison. Mm -hmm. And every day we get the news, uh, Mave and Kasi in the prison mm -hmm. of uh, 255th day, the newspaper is coming in numbers. It's a counter is going. They are mm -hmm. in the prison for. So all these things, and also on top of that, mm -hmm. the standardization. Yeah. It hit everybody, uh -huh. all the Tamils. Yeah. Whether you are a left-leaning Tamil youth or you are right-leaning Tamil youth, mm -hmm. but it hit. Mm -hmm. That is the final straw for the youth to start thinking. When education was threatened. Education was threatened, mm -hmm. employment was threatened. Then mm -hmm. you know, you are, even you are educated and successfully go, go through the university, then you need to pass single exams mm -hmm. and all those things. Actually, I wanted to make it clear. I have no problem learning Sinhalese. Mm -hmm. I can read Sinhalese. Mm -hmm. I can speak Sinhalese. Mm -hmm. I have no problem learning another language uh -huh. I, I, because that is, that is important for us to learn Sinhalese. Uh -huh. But I don't want people to judge me mm -hmm. or, uh, or evaluate me mm -hmm. because I don't, I, I don't know Sinhalese, uh, those kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I, so th these are the things to start thinking naturally uh, we, if you are th mm -hmm. that age is uh, mm -hmm. like that. So we start thinking, we mm. need to do something to change. Mm -hmm. What we can do to change. So mm -hmm. a lot of us, uh, we were involved in the Tamil um, uh, Ilanjar That's right. Uh, that type of movement, we start working on it. Mm -hmm. And when we went to universities, then start working on that type of mm -hmm. movements. Mm -hmm. And even uh, as parallelly in 70s also, the mm -hmm. JVP also um, active in a different form. Yeah. JVP also active. So these all these things. But end of the day, then we, if you, uh, we are not uh, going through um, some uh, political uh, rhetoric. Yeah. 
we are reading the uh, history of Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. What has happened? Oh, 1946, Albury Commission, mm -hmm. uh, the new constitution, mm -hmm. uh, Tamil uh, single only rule, mm -hmm. uh, then uh, standardization, mm -hmm. uh, colonization, mm -hmm. and the, the name change of our land. Uh, you know, um, uh, Ambara is gone. Yeah. Uh, this is all these things happening. The really, then the youth uh, at that time mm -hmm. they thought we should have a separate state mm -hmm. because the federalism was fought and failed. Mm -hmm. So there is no choice given to us. Mm -hmm. So we need to involve in the separate states. Mm -hmm. And that is the condition still. It is not changed. It's a new way of doing, but same old stuff. Mm -hmm. Colonization, singleization, mm -hmm. militarization. Mm -hmm. And also, every time, if you are traveling from Jaffna, even mm -hmm. the, uh, when, when I was a teenager, uh -huh. from Jaffna to other part of the Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. by car, mm -hmm. Elephant Pass, mm -hmm. you will be stopped and checked. Mm -hmm. You know, this, this is, is not during the seventies. Seventies. Uh -huh. This is not. Uh, this is not after a military struggle or anything. Yeah. So it is looks like we are under <coughs> watch of military, and even we can't move freely. Uh -huh. So the, all mm -hmm. these things, you know, it is not one, mm -hmm. but it is uh, the uh, Sri Lanka uh, mm -hmm. the, the political leadership, whether it's a UNP or SLFP, mm -hmm. their constant policy of. Uh, uh, taking the whole island as a singular nation, mm -hmm. and that is not acceptable mm -hmm. for us, still not acceptable for us. Sri Lanka is an island mm -hmm. with the two nations, uh -huh. and they have to accept there is a Tamil nation in this country, mm -hmm. and that is the beginning of all the reconciliation. Okay. Uh, what, before we get to the present, what year did you end up leaving Sri Lanka? Uh, I, I left Sri Lanka in 1979. Okay, so now we'll just do a little fast forward. Uh, I need decades. to tell you something. Okay. I, I want to tell you okay. a yeah. thing. I left Sri Lanka in 1979 uh -huh. because the next day, mm -hmm. the army and police were searching our house in Balavata to arrest me. All right. In uh -huh. So I left. At that, that time, I, I was working for Petroleum Corporation okay. uh, uh, as a, uh, in the uh, Sapukaskanda refinery. Right. I was working. And um, there was uh, some other stuff happened yeah. and uh, uh, interesting. But what happened was then the, the, they were looking for me. Okay. So in that time, they came. Mm -hmm. Actually, they took me to the Vallavata police station. Mm -hmm. They put me in the cell. Mm -hmm. One day, I, not like David for years, uh -huh. one day, uh -huh. uh, I was in the cell. Mm -hmm. Really, uh, they, did, they don't know some other information. Mm -hmm. But what happened was, uh, my brother, uh, uh, he was in the um, another uh, organization working for another company. So mm -hmm. he used to play golf with uh, uh, military officials. Mm -hmm. So what happened was, he was able to take me out. Mm -hmm. And within two days, I was able to come out. Mm -hmm. So what, what is this? Then our house was raided and all those things happened. Um, then after that, after five years, six years, I went back home. Uh -huh. Uh, then came back and actually 1979 is the last time. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it, it is, uh, yeah, I, okay. I didn't, uh, I was in, I was not in jail for anything. Okay. But only one day, but. Uh, right. Before we head to break, and that's when I want to start the real discussion, um, qu quickly, like, you know, we fast forward the 80s, 90s, and, you know, the uh, latter part of this decade. Um, can you quickly tell us the role your organization is playing in the diaspora and what its objectives are? So when it comes to Canadian Tamil Congress, yeah. we are here to promote the, the, the Tamil Canadian political, social, economic interests okay. in this country. Uh -huh. Also, we do speak on behalf of our brethren back in Sri Lanka, especially uh, our Tamil brothers and sisters, because we believe that uh, uh, they have to have a strong voice outside the outside of Sri Lanka mm -hmm. uh, to voice on behalf of them. And also, we speak by the by the way when we speak for our brothers and sisters back in Sri Lanka, we do care about the the southern uh, single brothers and sisters too. People tend to think that we don't talk about them. We do. We do care for them too because we strongly believe there's a huge democratic deficiency is in Sri Lanka. There's no democracy at all. Okay. It's our voice. And uh, Mr. Maharajan? So um, I'm a member of Transnational Government of Tamil Nadu. Mm. It, it was recently formed. Uh, mm. ele uh, it's an elected body uh, mm. um, all over the world. Uh -huh. uh, the f and the, our mandate mm -hmm. is separate state. Uh -huh. 
the reason is uh, we can't, uh, all these years uh, we have many different ways of achieving our goal. Uh -huh. No, actually, the, before that, our, for, uh, our political leaders, um, uh, they try to have a, a decent political solution mm -hmm. for our people. Mm -hmm. uh, different agreement, Banda, Shilva, Pandam, uh, DS, uh, all those people sign a lot of agreement to safeguard our dignity. Mm -hmm and uh, our national uh, national identity okay. that was denied continuously mm -hmm. not only denying violently denied mm -hmm. and destroyed our um, nationhood tried mm -hmm. to destroy our nationhood so in in this ju juncture mm -hmm. the only viable solution is mm -hmm. separate state internationally protected uh, uh, nation of tamil okay. should be created that uh. is our organization's mandate okay so that is our way. So we, we will find a democratic way mm -hmm. to achieve that goal. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll be back shortly. Uh, dear viewers, please stay in tuned. Again, please share your thoughts at our number, which is on the screen. And we'll be back very shortly. Thank you. Welcome back, viewers. We're discussing the politics of Sri Lanka. Please join our conversation at 416-623-8100. Uh, today we're joined with Mr. Balarajan from the Transnational Government of Tamil Ulam and Mr. Pupala Pillay from the Canadian Tamil Congress. Uh, as you gentlemen are aware, last week's show featured a discussion between Mr. Prashant Devizar and uh, Mr. Guruparan regarding this concept of reconciliation in Sri Lanka and that show generated a lot of uh, feedback, uh, one uh, clip in particular. And we'll take a look at it and uh, we'll come back and discuss uh, and discuss your commentary on it. குறிப்பாக ஒரு மக்களை அதாவது சிங்கள மக்களுடைய மனங்களை எவ்வாறு வென்றெடுப்பு என்று சொல்லி நாங்கள் ஆழமாக சிந்திக்க வேண்டிய கட்டத்தில் இருக்கிறோம் அவர்களை புண்படுத்தி நாங்கள் எதையுமே நாங்கள் எதையும் பெற்றுக்கொள்ள முடியாது அவருடைய அவருடைய முரண்பட்டு நாங்கள் எதையுமே நாங்கள் சாதிக்க முடியாது அவருடைய மனங்களை வென்றெடுக்கும் மூலமாக நாங்கள் பல விடயங்களை அவர்களுக்கு புரிய வைக்கலாம் அவர்களோடு ஒற்றுமையாக வாழக்கூடிய ஒரு சூழ்நிலையை நாங்கள் காணலாம் என்ற வகையிலே நாங்கள் எங்களுடைய மாணவர்கள் செய்த செயற்பாடுகளுக்கு கூட நாங்கள் அதை உணர்ந்திருக்கிறோம் Um, so, what were your thoughts on what uh, Mr. Raja had to say? Yes, uh, we have seen this. We have been there, done this too. During our time, uh, our youth time, there was an issue like this too. I mean, the single youth and Tamil should, should interact or talk to each other. We did that. I did that personally. But what we are saying, the culture of impunity mm -hmm. started in the 70s or started well before the 70s. In my case, mm -hmm. the freedom of association was denied. Uh -huh. Freedom of expression was denied. Uh -huh. Still there. The mm -hmm. Sri Lanka is suffering big time on the culture of impunity and democracy deficiencies, uh, erosion of the judiciary system. Remember I told you we, they took us to courts and our case was thrown out in 79. Mm -hmm. That's not the case anymore. The judici judiciary system in Sri Lanka completely eroded. Media freedom, Sri Lanka has been identified as the 163rd word Mm -hmm. It's kind of 63rd country in the world by uh, the well-known uh, media group in the world mm -hmm. when it comes to media freedom. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a failed state. Uh, Sri Lanka mm -hmm. has every indicator to say mm -hmm. it's a failed state. Mm -hmm. So single youths should understand, single mm -hmm. people should understand. Mm -hmm. They have to address those issues. So too. do you think their program is, uh, it's it shouldn't be done or it should be modified or there's no hope in it so should no, our community it, put any it, stock it into it? It should be done, it should be modified but they're trying to show, uh -huh. I spoke to these people too, they're trying uh -huh. to show the issue in Sri Lanka is north-south divide, that's uh -huh. a division between Tamils and Sinhalese. Uh -huh. That's not the case. Sri uh -huh. Lanka prob problem is much deeper than that party. Mm -hmm. I told them this is much deeper. Mm -hmm. I mean, what is the, what's your view on this uh, national question? Uh, uh, like Ponbala Anna said, what mm -hmm. do you think about Tamil's uh, liberation struggle? Uh -huh. Do you have an answer? Okay. Uh, what's your roadmap for this reconciliation? Uh, what's your issue on this uh, culture of impunity? What, mm -hmm. your, what are your thoughts? Mm -hmm. No answers from them. Mr. Balraj, what are your thoughts on the group? Actually, uh, they have a misplaced uh, priority and the logic in their argument. Mm -hmm. the, the gentleman said the first thing, uh, yeah. you need to pre please, please the Sinhalese <laughs> to get something for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he's begging you, begging the Tamil diaspora, mm -hmm. uh, beg the Sinhalese, mm -hmm. make them happy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you can get justice. Mm -hmm. Man, this is the, <laughs> the worst 
uh, mm -hmm. thing you can say mm -hmm. to a victimized community. Mm -hmm. Tamil people were victimized for more than 60 years now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they were killed, raped, mm -hmm. and still the, all these things are happening. Mm -hmm. And now, I am, my, my, uh, my sister was raped, my brother was killed, mm -hmm. and I ha I, how, how, what type of heart I have to have, mm -hmm. go to Sinhalese and please them. Mm -hmm. How can he ask that question? No mm -hmm. wonder people are upset about this show. Mm -hmm. Because this is, uh, this is really a bad mm -hmm. example. He never understand. Mm -hmm. Even I, I'm, because he's a Tamil. Yeah. He didn't understand the, the, the feeling of a Tamil. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter whether the, this guy wants separate state or mm -hmm. federal state or 13th Amendment or what. It doesn't matter. Uh -huh. There was a death happened. We have 128,000 people killed. Mm -hmm. Our land was destroyed. Mm -hmm. every, uh, every one kilometer you have a Buddhist temple is coming. Mm -hmm. And all these coming, still Sinhalese are not happy to give justice to Tamil people. Mm -hmm. This is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Actually, what is this? What I, my view of this, mm -hmm. uh, this organization mm -hmm. is divide the Tamil community. Mm -hmm. Take the cream of the, the knowledgeable youth and brainwash them and work against the national struggle of Tamil people. Okay, that remains to be seen if, they, if, if our Tamil youth actually go into that type of thinking and that I don't think there's enough evidence to show if our youth in Jaffna in the east or in the Vani have actually come on to that right but with, with his comment aside the uh, the main argument Prashant Divisor was putting forward is that he quoted a stat about 70 percent of youth in Sri Lanka don't have a friend of a, the other ethnicity and uh, they, had, they had said that okay this is one form of reconciliation to connect youth at a at a very at a social level, so when they become adults or become voting age, they'll recognize that the other, whether they're, they're in this case the Sinhalese youth, when they become adults, they they'll feel that the Tamils aren't an alien force because that's the narrative a lot of them are exposed to. The Tamils are aliens, they're invaders, and if they're exposed to at a young age that the Tamils are, are humans as well, then that'll have long term. I don't think they were promising any short term. Right? I think Guru Pran very, uh, artic ar ar very articulated the, the problem with this approach that they have to address the core problems. But I think what they were saying is long term, that's like two generations from now. No, the, yeah, that's what I'm saying, Pati. Yeah. Even previous generation had the same exercise. During our time, yeah. we had the same exercise. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm completely. Uh, I mean, uh, saying what I'm trying to say here, mm -hmm. the way they portray that Sri Lanka is divided between North and South, yeah. that's not the case. Okay. There's no evidence to show, I mean, I had to differ with Balana here, yeah. the single population against the wishes of Tamil, uh, uh, the political wishes of the Tamils. Okay. There's no single government gave something to Tamils and single people voted them out of power. No, that it. That never oh. happened in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. Single government never gave anything to Tamil. This is a different story. Mm -hmm. They they went, uh, they signed the pacts, they abrogated pacts, yeah. you know, by themselves. Mm -hmm. But they never went to the Sinhala population, told them, here, look, we are giving something to uh, the Sri Lankan Tamil people or yeah. the, the, uh, the, the Northern South uh, uh, Tamil nation is getting something from us. Yeah. What do you think? Uh -huh. Are you are you accepting or are you disapproving us? Yeah. That never happened. Okay. Uh, we have to take a caller. Uh, on line one, Sam. Uh, line one, Sam. I'm calling. Uh, I totally disagree with uh, Prashant. Sorry? I totally disagree with uh, Prashant's opinion. Okay, yeah. Please go ahead. My, my thinking is, my thinking is, I have been associated with the uh, politics for nearly 40 to 50 years. In fact, I was uh, uh, virtually, I was more or less uh, inclined on my left, uh, leftist leaning. Sir, sir, can you please okay, put the, uh, can you please put the TVI now. volume, the TV volume low? Yeah. yeah. Or step away from the TV into okay. a different room. Yeah. Hello? Hello, yeah, yeah. please continue. The, uh, in, in my young days, I was uh, very much... Uh, uh, in line with uh, thinking of the pen emperor, uh, uh, Sir, uh, it's very hard to hear you. It's very hard to hear you. Please turn the TV off and speak louder. Yes, yes. The only only thing is now they have been um, they have been 
advocating parity of status and particularly the young young population, students, uh, labor movement and all uh, things like that. But it is very, very unfortunate that all the so-called leftist people, Toscais, communists, then uh, some of the Marxists, all these people, now for the last year, it's between 20 years, there is no LSSB, there is no CP, there is no leftist, there is nobody except the Vijayavar. Uh, the, okay. Uh, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Then, Thank you for the call. Uh, the caller brings a, a good point that in previous pacts and arrangements and deal making uh, during the non-violent 60s, 50s, 60s and 70s, whenever the Tamil leadership made deals with the government or even the left parties, the Singhala left parties, we were always let down. Um, so the, the question becomes, as the caller brings out, there's, there's a serious mistrust us as a Tamil people have with the Sinhalese communities. In this, um, Sinhalese political parties. Singhala political parties. Political parties, that's right. <laughs> uh, so in this context, I'd like to discuss, discuss the recent, um, I guess, declaration by the TNA, uh, the Tamil National Alliance, to seek a solution within a united Sri Lanka. And, you know, uh, that begs the question, whether it's united or a separate state, there has to be some dialogue and discussion with Singhala leadership. How uh, does I this... need to point out a few things. Uh, first, um, two points I need to make here. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to differ with uh, David. Mm -hmm. Number one, the, when you see the, we can't say the Singhalese people, uh, uh, Singhalese people are okay with Tamils, only politicians. Mm -hmm. 1958, when Bandaranaka said, mm -hmm. I will make Singhala only as the rule mm -hmm. within 48 hours, mm -hmm. vote for me, and he defeat DS and mm -hmm. In that time, Singhalese people voted uh, Bandaranaika mm -hmm. and they made that change, mm -hmm. number one. Number two, in this, every time, whenever anything happening to Tamil people, any, uh, any, um, any uh, concession uh, tried to give by agreement or anything, okay. the Singhala masses, and the Mahasangha, uh, Singhalese uh, religious uh, hierarchy, yeah. they go against it and they burn the agreement, Banda Shalva agreement, yeah. all those type of uh, agreements are burned. Mm -hmm. but see, so you can't say Singhalese people are not part of it. Mm -hmm. Actually, they are in the middle of it. Okay, okay so Mr. Balraj, there's no questioning those facts. Those are irrefutable. I want to, those, I want but, to bring in one more point. Okay. Please. Other thing is uh, that uh, the gentleman on the, your previous show, yeah. he, uh, he said, um, you know, <coughs> when you have this type of dialogue between Tamil youths from north and down south, uh, K Gol youth uh, yeah. or Kokuville Hindu College and K Gol Hindu College kind yeah. of thing, yeah. this is how many days it can happen. It may happen a month or two, uh -huh. a camp. Uh -huh. I just tell you something. The people born and lived with, with Singhalese people mm. for generations yeah. in, in down south, yeah. they were killed. Yeah. Like Do our it, previous guest, Mr. Uh, Konendran, who was yes. in Matra and here, when in 1958 riots, his family came to kill, death. Kill. Now yeah. look at it. So what, what yeah. is the telling you is, they were living as a neighbors, as a, a, a relations, yeah. a friend, went to school together. Okay. These families were killed. Okay, Mr. Balraj, I'd like to come to the present and the, the context which the TNA, has, the TNA has been duly elected by the Tamil people of the North and East to represent them. And at the recent CTC annual dinner in January, they made a statement where they're looking for a solution within a united Sri Lanka. How do you reconcile that? Actually, um, I had an opportunity after that too, after the yeah. thing, uh, we had a TV show also. Yeah. I clearly, we, I mentioned, yeah. the, the transnational government yeah. is, uh, it is not, not against with TNA, uh, whatever they are doing. Okay. But what our history, our mm -hmm. experience, mm -hmm. You know, you learn a lot of things from the history. Okay. You know the same people, same people, same Mahasangas and everything is sitting there. Uh -huh. Whatever you are going to do with the uh, Singhalese government, even after all these things, uh -huh. they, none of these uh, major Singhalese party acknowledged there were a lot of Tamil were killed. Mm -hmm. But you, you can make and talk, mm -hmm. but they can talk for another 60 years. You, there won't be any agreement to you mm -hmm. th th that will satisfy the aspiration of the Tamil people. Mm -hmm. uh, this is this is going to happen. But what? But now we can't uh, shut the door of the negotiation. TNA should go and negotiate. But what we are saying is, mm -hmm. we know from the history, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. from our 60 years of history. Mm -hmm. They said nothing will change in Sri Lankan politics. So that's why mm -hmm. we have to stand our grounds mm -hmm. and we say we need a separate state. Mm -hmm. UN, moni U UN uh, recognized uh, referendum, referendum. On the no referendum okay. and we need to separate the island. One second, Mr. Bajan. Uh, we have a caller. Uh, hello, Jaya. Hello? Hello, please speak louder. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking to you. Okay, please go yeah, ahead. Um, uh, I don't know what you guys discussed here. Um, I would like to ask him, when is the British government left, to, left our, our country, that time our people are finding out we can live together single people? Uh, you can tell about that? Okay, thank you. What was the question? Uh, I don't think it was uh, audible. I don't yeah, think so. the question was audible. But uh, Mr. Pupal, can you speak is, about, the, about the TNA's acceptance yes. of this? Yeah. Yeah, as CTC, I mean, as, uh, we at Canadian Tamil Congress, we always say the government uh, in the island of Sri Lanka, the Tamil nation has elected a TNA as their political Perfect. party. They are the yeah. major, major political party when it comes to Tamils in the northern east. So we leave it up to them. To, to to go to find out the the, the right solution for the for those mm -hmm. uh, masses mm -hmm. so that's our policy uh, coming back to these uh, balana's argument we will never blame singular population a singular people as masses for the woes of the sri lankan nation mm -hmm. we always blame the polity southern polity every political parties made a mistake there is no political will uh, among these political parties to mm -hmm. come for a political settlement when it comes to Tamil national question. That's the argument. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's time for a short break. Uh, please do join our conversation. The number is on the screen. We're looking forward to hearing your thoughts and ideas. Welcome back. Today on Crossroads, we're discussing the politics in Sri Lanka with members of the transnational government of Tamililam and the Canadian Tamil Congress. Uh, Mr. Pupalpale, I'd like to discuss the, uh, what our, one of our guests from last week's show, Mr. R.K. Guruparan, a lecturer of law at the University of Jaffna. He had wrote a piece in Virakesari recently and he articulated his position against the Geneva Resolution. And in it, he makes two major points. One, that within the resolution, there's no discussion of the Tamils as a community, as a people, or as a nation. And there's no mention of there has to be devolution to our people, or our community. And secondly, was his, uh, his position against the election of these provincial councils, which he fears are, will be an eyewash to the real core problems that are faced by our, our people. Uh, so given your, your organization's support for the UN resolution, what is your take on his, his oh, commentary? Yes, with all these shortcomings when it comes to the UN resolutions, we know fully well that uh, there are many major shortcomings in the resolution. It didn't go as far as when it comes to Tamil's expectation. That's understands, understandably so. Mm -hmm. But with all the shortcomings, please everyone, uh, please understand Pati, and everyone has to understand as well. After 33 years in the UN history, first time, Sri Lankan government got a slap on their face. This is a major victory from the Tamil side. That's what we look at it. First, they have been fooling the international community for a very long time, Sri Lanka, through their diplomatic efforts, through their, uh, the other efforts. First time, there was a resolution at least putting Sri Lanka to a corner and, and asking some serious questions uh, and ask them to address those so questions. Do you think it's still worth it? Despite still worth the it, short yeah. And Mr. Balrajan, your the TGT's position on the resolution? Um, the TGT, uh, what we say, almost same like David's, but what we are saying is, this is a one resolution at the international level. Mm -hmm. This is recognized that something has happened mm -hmm. and there must be an accountability. Mm -hmm. But as usual, they never mention anything about Tamil people or Tamil nation and mm -hmm. their political aspiration or the resolution, the, the root cause of the issue. Mm -hmm. That's why we are, transnational government, we are still working hard to get the international independent inquiry going. 
Okay. That is our, so we are not uh, stopping here. Mm -hmm. um, other thing is the in the UN level, you can see that there are major things happened a year ago. Canadian mm -hmm. foreign minister at the UN mentioned the, about the Sri Lanka issue. This is the first time in the UN. Can, and did he speak about the Tamils as a nation or he, as a community no, he, distinct? Uh, he didn't uh, say it as a Tamil as a nation, okay. but there was a problem for Tamil people that has to be taken care. That That is a very important message. Okay. So what we, are, what we need to do, Tamil diaspora and the organization, yeah. we need to increase the tempo of the UN and international communities, the wordings to come to reflect the real problem of the Tamil Okay, nation. we're going to take a caller. Uh, Rajeshwari. வணக்கம் <laughs> 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 உதவிக்கு வர இல்லை எப்பவுமே சிங்களவருக்கு தங்களுடைய மதம் தங்களுடைய மொழி ஒரு வரியாகத்தான் இருந்தது அனபடியா இதுக்குள்ள அரசியல் வாதி என்று நீங்கள் தனிப்பட்ட முறையில தேவி சொல்ற கருத்தை ஏற்றுக்கொள்ள முடியாது ஏனென்று சொன்னால் எப்பவும் எங்களுக்காக தமிழருக்காக எந்த ஒரு சிங்கள மக்களோ அல்லது எந்த ஒரு சங்கமோ Okay, thank you. Thank you. David, you would like to respond? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, the, the riots or the anti Tamil pogroms uh, took place in Sri Lanka periodically from 1958 onwards. But if you go into those riots and see, though state apparatus and section of the Singhala community were involved in that, mm. sizable number of Singhala population, sizable, significant number of people. Mm went and assisted the Tamil masses and helped them. This happened in 58, this happened in 77, this happened in 83. I mean, we have opened up a website, blackjuly1983.com. Please go and see the website. Lots of victims who went through a lot during those riots, mm. they have been telling their testimony, they mm. were saved by the Singhala people. Okay. So we have to admit the fact, what we are saying, the Singhala population in general, I don't want to generalize it. Okay. We don't generalize that. Singhala masses not to be blamed, not to be blamed. Sections of the Singhala community, yes. The political party, yes. Mm. Balana talked about the Singhala Mahasanga, yes. Mm -hmm. But I want to uh, take your attention to a very extra nationalist Singhala parties in Sri Lanka. Hela Urumea, mm. and there's another one, Champikarana Bakas. Mm. They went to the elections. You know how many MPs they were able to elect? Eight or nine. Mm -hmm. So, Singhala yes. so you're vote. saying it's a minority. It's a very minority. We have another caller, Sivakumaran. Please go ahead. Thank you for getting me in. Yeah. Um, actually, the um, no the, re the latest one that is uh, Singhala people. We, sh we should not generalize it. Okay. There are people who have been um, very helpful also. Generally, people are good always, but oh. there are few who have become emotional, and therefore the result is because the politicians of the um, Sangha Mahasangha they capitalize on these emotions. Mm. That's why that's a, that's a main problem. And the other thing I want to mention is that um, this agitation for the separate state yeah. did not come up from nowhere. Mm -hmm. It evolved periodic. I mean, from from mm -hmm. for the last for the past. I mean, over thirty years. Mm -hmm. Sivakumar, I have a question. Do you do you think it's do you think it's achievable given the current geopolitics, a separate state? Well. Whether it's achievable or not, we should aim at that. Our our main aim is for the Tamil people to live in the, in the island with dignity and respect. Uh -huh. For that, there are the possibilities are either parity of status, federal state, or separate state. Parity of status never happened. Federal state never happened. We went through step by step. We went through dialogue, uh -huh. discussion, uh -huh. agitation, peaceful demonstrations, uh, Satyagraha. And um, uh, eventually, the, whether it is the Tamil politicians or whether the Tamil... Mr. Sivakumar, Mr. Sivakumar, I'm sorry, we have another caller, but do you have a question? No, no, I just want to make okay. a comment. Okay, thank you, uh, thank you. Um, our next caller, Mr. Srikumar. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Srikumar, please go ahead. Hi. Uh, hi, everybody. I would like to ask a question. 
for approval guardian regarding to achieve our goal as family law, how far the transnational government is working jointly with the local parties, that is the other organization, as well as the, in Sri Lanka to the other, the TNA or Tamil Congress or things like that, people like that, to achieve how how far they are working jointly to achieve our goal. I don't want to have a blessing answer for these things. I want a direct and straightforward answer. Are they working sincerely, truly, honestly to achieve our goal according to the, our time people's mm -hmm. uh, grievances uh, given the mandate for the transnational government of Tamil Islam because they are mm -hmm. democratically elected uh, transnational government Tamil Islam, mm -hmm. but the action has not been looking as democratically because already democratically elected 23 members of the Tamil Islam uh, transnational government have been... Okay, thank you Mr. Shri Kumar. Mr. Shri Kumar, I, I, I feel he, he raises a very good question that what is the nature of the relationship between our diaspora organizations and the Tamil organizations in Sri Lanka and specifically he mentions the TNA and also uh, I think he was alluding to the TNPF under the leadership of Gajendra Ponnambalam. So going forward as the CTC has you know shown support obviously for the TNA and in the recent months we've seen the opposition to the TNA in the form of the TNPF and uh, who's articulated their opposition against the Geneva Resolution, against a United, solution within a united Sri Lanka. How do your organizations contend with that dynamic? Yeah, it's a very interesting question. Um, uh, we need to understand a few things before we go further. We are a transnational government. Actually, we are working very close with all the political parties in Sri Lanka. Including TNPF? Including. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, especially uh, uh, Prime Minister of Ruth Rokumar and they, ha they, ha they create communication and there are discussion going on. But what happens is for the, from the other side, the political party from the, uh, from the island of Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. the engaging with uh, TGTE mm -hmm. is, is very danger for their existence. We can understand the Sri Lankan government and their political activities and it is a difficult for them to publicly they come. To. So there, there are some sort of negotiation, discussion, understanding uh, going. Mm -hmm. But it is not, it is not um, we are against TNA, mm -hmm. that we need to clear that one. We, need, we are not against TNA. We have a point of view of a separate state, mm -hmm. but they have a situation in, uh, in, in, in island of Sri Lanka to deal with the political situation, with the current context. Mm -hmm. So, But they, should we support Tamil political parties? in the diaspora? Yeah, the Tamil political parties actually the people should, are supporting. Okay. No, people. but as organizations should... No, this uh, now if we go and uh, if we go and publicly, transnational government go and publicly, oh, uh, if we have a... Uh, or we, like we a group a, like say CTC supporting CTC the can go because CTC, the, uh, their mandate is not separate state. Okay. We, our mandate is separate state. Then what will happen is Sri Lankan government will do something for the politicians, those who are dealing with TGTE. They have a uh, they have a situation like that. We need to understand that one. Mm -hmm. So on that context, we have to see this one. Mm -hmm. So how negotiation going and all those things, it is going to damage the um, TNA or TNPF po uh, political parties. But mm -hmm. really, uh, we like to work with everybody, diaspora organization, and the local organization. Okay, Mr. Pupalapale, what do you say about that? If, if the case becomes that, uh, that the people, the Tamil people in the North and East start to view the TNPF as the Tamil choice, how does that affect the work you do as the diaspora if you've already committed to So far, the TNPF has not shown uh, their strength when it comes to uh, the electoral victories. But uh, having said that, when it comes to uh, practicing democracy, I mean, uh, TNA has to be criticized. Uh, I mean, TMB has every right to criticize the, the polit uh, political party mm -hmm. uh, as, uh, when it comes to TNA. So we are all for that. But having said that, we view TNA as the major political party elected by the, the, the uh, Tamil masses in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. So we stand by that. Okay. And on that note, uh, we'll end the conversation. Um, dear viewers, as mentioned earlier, when we discuss the subject, uh, subject matter of politics in Sri Lanka, it is incredibly complex, layered, and we're always keen for your perspective and points of view. 
please feel encouraged to write to us explaining your thoughts and feelings about what we discussed and please share your ideas for future shows. You can find our email address on the TV screen. Feel free to contact us through email or Facebook. Um, so this is all the time we have for today. We here at TVI wish you the best for this week and prosperity for this new year. Nandri Monaco. Thank <laughs> you.